What is Perplexity AI and how can you use it to level up your productivity? In this video, I'm gonna talk about why Perplexity has become my go-to over ChatGPT and Google. For reference, I'm David. I'm the COO of Eight Figure Brand YGN and I run a e-commerce brand agency. I wanna help you get paid to do more of the things you love. Subscribe if you're into that. Let's get started by jumping into my laptop. You might be thinking, David, isn't Perplexity like ChatGPT? They for sure have some things in common, but there are important differences. Firstly, Perplexity is fast. Let's just ask it, who created perplexity.ai. And you can see it here, it goes through, it looks for sources. So we would have been waiting for minutes with ChatGPT and this is way faster to get the answers that I want. Secondly, it fact checks. So it goes out to the internet, it searches a, a number of different sources. You can see there are three here and five more here and it incorporates it into the answer. Where ChatGPT might hallucinate and you need to fact check yourself, Perplexity AI has fact checking built in. There are links that click out so that you can actually read the link that was referenced in the answer. Let's go a little bit deeper into Perplexity. This is the overall interface of Perplexity. You have uh, your home screen, which is the equivalent of the Google search box. You can start asking Perplexity your question here. There's a discover area here as well. This uh, allows you to discover any news. Usually for mine, it's based on technology. So you can see what's happening and technology and science here. And then you have your library. This is your search history on Perplexity AI. One of the cool things about uh, Perplexity AI is that there's this feature called collections. Say you're working on a specific project, you can create a collection and this says vacation planning and you can give it a description and then you can say you are a travel agent. So you can give the AI a prompt for anything that you're working on within that specific collection. Here's an example of one of the collections that I have. I do a lot of writing. I write scripts. I write blog posts. And this is specifically for my YouTube scripts. So if you click here, click edit collection and you can see I use the following tone. The tone of the transcript is from this YouTube video is informative and educational. I took one of my YouTube videos, I put it through perplexity and I asked it, what's the tone of this? And then I edited it down to give it back to perplexity as a prompt. So you can see here, I took the search and then I edited it down to focus on the prompt. So it says, give instructions to the AI that affect every thread in the collect collection. And I say, use the following tone. The tone of the transcript from this YouTube video is informative and educational. The tone is also comparative and analytical. Throughout the video, David's tone is conversational yet professional, making content accessible to both beginners and those with some experience. Whenever I use this collection, Perplexity will automatically pick up this tone. Remember before when we had the Discover page or the home page, this will uh, automatically suggest topics that are interesting. So those are collections and they're a really cool feature. Let's jump into the settings section over here and we can see here uh, we have uh, three sections our profile you can give perplexity a prompt explaining who you are and the type of work that you do which is uh, really good and if you go into the account section there are your typical account settings here you have your subscription. So uh, in a second, I'm going to explain why you would want to upgrade to Perplexity Pro. In Perplexity Pro, you can select the model that you want to use, anything from GPT-4 to Claude. You can select uh, image generation models. You have information about managing your privacy. Let's go back to our library. I want to show you how I use Perplexity to draft my intro to this video. So I said, I want you to write a 12 minute YouTube script about how to use Perplexity AI. Ensure the script is comprehensive so I can read it on camera. Other notes, be sure to include a curiosity peaking hook and close. Then I had said, answer the following questions. What is Perplexity AI? How does Perplexity AI work? How do you use Perplexity AI? How is Perplexity AI different from ChatGPT? And who created Perplexity AI? And then ensure the script is written at a sixth grade reading level so it can be understood by most people. Here is the answer that it gave. And then I asked it, rewrite, adding more details about the founder of Perplexity and interesting details about Jeff Bezos and Amazon investing in Perplexity. It then went out to the internet and did a bunch of research, summarized it, and it gave me the answer the vision of Perplexity AI was to create an AI-powered search engine that could provide users with accurate, comprehensive, and engaging answers to their questions. The CEO is a graduate of Stanford University, 
worked at Google and Uber. So he knows his stuff. Jeff Bezos recently invested in Perplexity AI and the valuation is over a billion dollars right now. It also talks about the other investors like NVIDIA and more. As you're writing a video, you obviously need a hook, right? So I asked about 10 curiosity peaking hooks to open the Perplexity AI video. These are not very good. Um, so I said, give me 10 more on Perplexity challenging Google. And then it did more research and gave me these. So Perplexity was using Claude. I asked Perplexity to rewrite these headlines and make them more controversial. What happened was crazy because Perplexity was using Claude. Claude said, I can't write anything controversial. Please use these answers that I just gave you, right? And so then what I had to do is I had to switch the model to GPT-4 so that I could actually get an answer. So sometimes models don't give you what you want. GPT-4 is good at some things and Claude is good at other things. A lot of times what you'll see bias or restrictions that the models have and Perplexity gives you a way to get around that. Other feature that uh, makes Perplexity Pro stand out from ChatGPT is that you can give Perplexity the context of what you're working on. So if I just want to search for YouTube videos on how to use AI for marketing. It will just search YouTube. And then if you have Pro, it will ask you for more context. What aspects of AI marketing are you thinking about? Are you thinking about customer seg segmentation, personalization, predictive analytics, or content creation? So let's just select content creation and click send. And so now it searches for the videos and it brings them up for you. And then what it does is summarizes all of those YouTube videos and give you some key takeaways. So it's super powerful. Instead of having to go to YouTube, do research, watch all these videos, perplexity allows me to get a high level view of the topic that I wanna create content on. And it gives me the references back to the YouTube videos. So if I like this point about personalization, I can click out directly to that YouTube video in perplexity and watch it. The other modes that perplexity has are if you want to just focus on writing, you have Reddit. So if you're doing customer research, you can search Reddit for best baby stroller. As Perplexity Pro will go out, it will search the topic and they'll say, okay, what are you looking for? A single, double, triple, and then car seat. So it, it comes back and I'll ask a few more questions. Let's click on send. Here are the Reddit topics and they're all summarized. So I don't have to go to Reddit anymore and click through all of the forums to find the best topics. Perplexity does the work for me. I still have to have the ideas. I still have to guide Perplexity, but it is an invaluable tool and it's way more useful than the old way I used to do this, which is going to Google, searching Google, clicking out into each link, scrolling through the ads, trying to parse through all this information to get the quick answer that I need for my question. Perplexity has become a go-to tool for me for my marketing workflow. And it's really become a Swiss army knife where I can find things faster. I can customize my writing. I can have access to multiple models all in one place. If this video was helpful for you and you're interested in testing out Perplexity, I've added a link below. You'll get $10 off your first month. What are your questions you have about using Perplexity? Let me know in the comments below. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. Thanks so much for watching.